Hey guys, so bear with me. Today is like a have -Z makeup day. Like I threw my makeup on fast. I've just been doing a lot, which is good. Today we are gonna be tackling this beautiful piece of furniture back here. I saved up for this. It's, I just, I love it. It's gonna house my makeup collection. My makeup collection is currently in this shorter white Alex drawer that's kind of just in the middle of my room right now. Um, because when I got this, I shuffled things around and made room for it, but that means I don't have room for that, nor do I really have a need for it. So keeping that in mind, I would like to get my makeup collection out of there and get it reorganized into here. But I think that the biggest challenge I'm gonna face today is really thinking through how do I wanna organize it? Because this really is a dresser, and so the drawers are a lot deeper, meaning if I would like, I can store foundations and things like that upright. However, at the same time, for me, I like to be able to see my foundations, like laying, you know, things like that that I've really gotta think through and decide how I wanna organize it. I have a feeling I'm gonna get some things in there and then take it out and change it because I, you know, wanna adjust it however I see fit. So I am going to do a separate like makeup collection video later, very old school, very fun. I'm like in the weirdest way excited to do this, but I'm a little bit like stressed because I, I have thought through this for a few days and I don't know how I'm gonna do it. So I'm just like, I don't even, when am I gonna figure it out? I guess right now. So this is the piece of furniture we're moving into this. Um, I have like random PR. I'm still on some PR lists. Other ones were sent to me even though I've asked to be removed. So I'm trying to figure all that out. Um, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll link a video where I kind of explain why I'm not getting as much PR. And then I keep like my everyday makeup stuff in here in my little vanity. I recently did a tour of what I'm keeping in there if you are interested in checking it out. I'm gonna slide this over near the other piece and let's get started. I think what I'm gonna do is kind of, these are already organized according to like what they are. So I think I've decided that in these upper ones, um, I wanna have products that I switch up a lot that I would reach for the most. So like lip products or something that I wear a different one pretty much every day. Of course I'm saying that and I'm just like wearing lip balm today, but you know what I mean? Things that I, I do find myself reaching for different ones quite often, I want to be easiest to get to. So I think lip stuff will go up there maybe. Um, I'm kind of thinking palettes because I feel like these bigger drawers would lend themselves really well to like primers and foundations and skincare and then maybe like blush, bronze, highlight, that kind of thing. So I think that's what I'm gonna try. Oh, and this is actually broken even though I just got it. Um, it's because of the way we moved it, we took the drawers out. My husband just needs to fix the actual drawer things. He just hasn't had the time. So I'm gonna... So these are actually all of my lip products. So I think I'm just going to kind of set this in here and then reorganize these a bit. Cause again, I don't have a crazy amount, which is nice. Okay, so we've got my balms, lip liners, glosses, and more like lipstick and uh, like matte liquid lip kind of products. So I think in this other drawer, at least for now, I'm gonna try to put my eyeshadow palettes in here. So a lot of these are just like loves of mine, like single shadows. So I like that I can pretty much see everything. Um, and this is kind of a good size drawer for it because I feel like these would be knocking around in like the big, big drawers. So this is perfect. And I've even got all these different organizers that I can use from like past iterations of my makeup collections. So these are up for grabs too if I want to kind of condense down or maybe use a bigger container, things like that. I get a lot of questions. I get these from the container store. I can link some of them below. Some of these are from the Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree. Um, and then these are from a site called The Cosmetic Archive. I bought a bunch of them. They've sent me some of them, amazing stuff. They're actually meant to fit the Alex Nine drawers and they fit them perfectly, but they're also working pretty well in this. So I might use some of them anyway. So I think for this first big drawer, I wanna do my face products. So my primers, foundation, setting sprays. Let's just see how much of that fits. So I think that these, can I fit two of these side by side? Oh my gosh, that would be amazing. You can totally fit two of these side by side. I would never have guessed that you could. And then there's actually still even a little bit of room for things like if I wanted them on the side. Now, do I wanna continue to use it this way is the real question. I think the thing 
I'm most excited about with this is in those really thin Alex drawers I just was using, if something was sticking up like this, this is, you couldn't shut the drawer. So it's exciting that I can have things kind of leaning up and it doesn't really affect, you know, that I've got plenty of room. And I think I've decided I really do prefer being able to see everything laid out. I know some people say, oh, it's better for the bottle or the product to be upright. Well, okay, but it just is what it is. And this is the way I like looking at them. I like to be able, be able to see everything spread out. I might move the concealers and or the setting sprays depending on how these other drawers go, just so that I can see more of the concealers or be able to spread these out. But I, I kind of want to get through more of the drawers and just see what it looks like. So next is gonna be blush, bronzer, and highlight. Um, I think I can fit these in a drawer with some other stuff. The other things we're left with, uh, like some powder, and then this is kind of a mishmash, and I like to kind of spread it out a bit of my like single eyeshadows and like cream eyeshadows, pigments, things like that. Liners, brows, mascara, all that. So it's kind of mixed in together because I got rid of a lot in that department. But I think I can probably mix a lot of this together in this third drawer down. like how this ended up. Got my brows there, liners here, mascaras there, and then all of my single eyeshadows, pigments, and then more like creamy kind of products. So that's nice. Again, I can see everything that I have. Uh-oh, one of these came off. So I'll go through like individual shades and all of that stuff in a future makeup collection video because I know I'm going fast. probably know that I have a lot of like um, cream highlight and cream bronzer uh, that aren't in here right now because I'm using them in my everyday makeup drawer slash I'm working on them for a video so I, it's nice that I have a little bit of room so those will be able to fit back in here when I'm kind of done using a lot of them all at the same time but I like this again I can see all of my blushes and my bronzers and my highlights they're close together um, they're easy to get to I do still have these palettes um, gosh I guess I could squeeze it in here for now but I just feel like I'll end up having to adjust it soon, you know? We'll just leave it that way for now. We'll see if it gets changed around. So I have all of these like oils I actually use a lot. I'm giving some of them a break to finish up some other ones, but this is kind of a nice spot to put my kind of random skincare-ish things that I use often. And again, I could lay them down if I want, but it's nice to have that option. As you saw, these are basically pretty similar to how I had it in the bottom drawer of my other thing. Just pulled in another container. So I've got like my hair things I use to hold my hair back that I wash, you know, obviously if I use it for a week, I wash it. And my washcloths I use underneath where I'm getting ready. Got some sponges, um, various tools here, some sponges I haven't used yet. And then my brushes. Um, I pretty much have it as eye brushes and then two things of face brushes. So that's nice. Again, I've got some breathing room on either side if I want to rearrange, combine. Oh, actually, I have these lashes that need a home. So I think these are going to go over there. I obviously don't wear lashes super often, so it's kind of nice to just have a little home for them. So I feel pretty content with this, other than the fact that these some of these drawers need to be fixed. But I feel pretty good. I know myself, and I know that once I start using... This is not sponsored by LaCroix. I feel like I'm like perfectly... <laughs> But seriously, I know myself and I know that the more I use these products, the more I'm going to figure out what's working for me with this organization, what's not. I have a bunch of empty containers now that I just keep in my closet and I just kind of switch things out as I see fit. If I'm like, oh, you know what? I don't like having all these small containers. I'd rather use a bigger one. Once I feel pretty good about the way things are organized and all of that stuff, I will share my makeup collection. Um, I want to give it some time though. I want to give it a few weeks or maybe even a few months of me getting used to it before I share all that with you. But like I said, I'll go into the colors I've got of everything, the specific products. It usually is a little bit longer of a video, but if you're into that sort of thing, you get it you like it and if you're not then you know it's a video you can just skip i hope you enjoyed like 
like I said, if you haven't seen my vanity tour of my like everyday makeup drawer of the makeup I'm using right now, I will link that below. I did it literally a few weeks ago. It was very, very recent, but other than that, I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye.